please listen carefully. So I'm a big language geek, as I have previously established, and I have a particular affinity and appreciation for conlangs, that is, constructed languages. As in, the 7,000 languages on Earth are not enough, and people have had to construct more languages, usually in conjunction with some work of fiction or other. And so here are three of the most well-known, and also some of my favorites. And so we'll start with Tolkien, because if you're talking about made-up languages in a fantasy realm, uh, you better start with the master. Tolkien created some 14 languages uh, to use in his stories set in Middle-earth and beyond, including Dwarvish, various languages of men, uh, the Black Speech of Mordor, which I won't utter here, as well as three variants of Elvish, including Quinya, Sindarin, and Sylvan. Tolkien really only wrote them to make his world richer, so they really can't be spoken fluently unless you really only want to talk about stars, swords, or trees. But they are complete in the sense that he didn't just make up a bunch of words to replace English words so that they sounded foreign. They have histories and borrowings between the different languages, and they have grammars, and actually quite a vocabulary. So if you wanted to speak Quenya right now, you probably could. People would probably look at you strangely, uh, but the robe and elf ears probably are already doing that. So here's a sample. Etiarelo, Indorena Utulin, Sinome Maruvan, Ar Hildinyar, Tin Ambar Meta. Next is George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire, which uh, the TV show Game of Thrones is based on. Now this is a bit different, uh, because Martin is not a linguist, uh, not by a long shot, and so the languages that he created weren't really languages, but just foreign words that he kind of made up. But for the show, the creators wanted authentic foreign languages for their actors to speak, and so they hired a linguist, uh, and also the president of the Language Creation Society. David Peterson, to design and flesh out those few words into complete languages. He created Dothraki and High Valerian. Online there's a ton of information about how to speak Dothraki, uh, including dictionaries and even some texts written in Dothraki. So here's a few sample phrases if you ever happen to find yourself on the grasslands of Essos across the narrow sea. Es havajan, anhavajak, yaran terat, menen nisa. And finally we have perhaps the most well-known made-up language, Klingon. I probably don't even have to say it, but Klingon is the language of the Klingons from Star Trek. And it actually wasn't really created into a language until the movie started coming out. And a linguist named Mark Orkrand actually created a full-fledged language to be used in the movies. So for about 25 years now, there's been a growing community of people who speak and translate things into Klingon, including several of Shakespeare's plays, particularly Hamlet. Ta, pa, ta, be. The Epic of Gilgamesh and even the Bible. That's right, there's a Klingon version of the Bible. So if you happen to be Klingon but want to invite the Savior Jesus Christ into your life rather than go to Stovokor, well, now you can. And here are a few Klingon phrases that might come in handy if you ever happen to find yourself stranded on Kronos. Noch nech kapla jiaj jiaj be hechlu mech kach. And there you have it. You have the tools to go survive in made-up fantasy alien realms. Congrats. That is it for me for today. Corey, I look forward to whatever you have tomorrow, and I will be back next week on Monday. Have a great weekend.